Howdy Archie Aliens and welcome! I am Paul Gateman and I draw stuff. Well today I am actually making stuff or showing you the results of that. In today's video I'm going through the artwork contained inside a low content Amazon KDP book that I published this week titled Spacecraft Colouring Book. 30 space themed craft for you to colour. I spent about a day creating this book using what I had learned from the previous one, the Easter Colouring Book to inform my design and also to improve upon it. I used the correct spelling of colour for this book, well at least over here in Australia. For this book, four to five of the images were created using the live trace feature of Illustrator and the remainder were created by printing out an existing drawing I have at about eight foot size, then tracing it using a mix of eight millimeter fine liner and a thicker one to give a more consistent look to all of the images within the book. Once I had traced and scanned the images in, I cleaned them up in Photoshop and then imported them into InDesign. My keyword research for a spacecraft colouring book showed about 150 or so hits, which is good for a marketing perspective because less hits is less uh, competition, but also could mean less popularity. So hopefully less uh, hits on the search engine means a chance of making a sale. Fingers crossed. Now let's get stuck into the content. For this colouring book, and I've aimed this book for ages 10 and up as the line work is finer than for a younger demographic. I chose one of the images from the book, coloured it in and used that for the front cover. This is to show an example of the results of colouring in one of the drawings and to also preview the contents. The title is meant to stand out and be technological. I chose blue for the cover and then saw a lot of science fiction themed books are blue. That must be my colour theory working its way out of me unconsciously. I think it is a nice touch allowing the owners to personalise their book with a this colouring book belongs to page, so that's why I included that. I also included a contents listing because I figured that could be helpful. So I've gone through with the drawings and basically Draw them on tracing paper, scan them into my computer and clean up the line art which results in most of these drawings which will tend to have a thick outline and then finer lines for the detail. Done a range of ships, rovers, speeders and I've tried to also include some background elements which makes things a bit more interesting than say a plain speeder like this one just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. So what I'll do is I'll just play some music in the background and let you view the images and then I'll give a quick summary at the end. Thank <laughs> you. 
The back cover shows sample content from inside this colouring book. I picked images to represent what is inside and to show a spread of spacecraft design contained within. Those who have followed my channel, you'll notice some of my hashtag Chris Foss challenge spacecraft made it into the colouring book, though not too Chris Fossy as to be ripping off his work. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to create something or draw in your own sketchbook or journal, etc., subscribe, like, and share. If you like the book enough to treat yourself or gift it to somebody as a copy, there is a link in the description. Until next time, you have been watching Making Stuff with me, Paul Dateman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing or happy creating.